Yeremiahu, Jeremiah 42. Then all the captains of the forces, and Yahuchanan, the son of Kerach, and Yezenyahu, the son of Husheyah, and all the people from the least even unto the greatest, came near, and said unto El Yeremiahu, the prophet, Let, we beseech you, our supplication be accepted before you, and pray for us unto El Yahuwah Eloheka, even for all this remnant, for we are left but a few of many, as your eyes do behold us, that Yahuwah Eloheka may show us eth the way wherein we may walk, and eth the thing that we may do. Then Yeremiahu the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto El Yahuwah Eloheka according to your words, and it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing Yahuwah shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. And then they said to El Yeremiahu, Yahuwah, be a true and faithful witness between us if we do not even according to all things for which, rather, for the which Yahuwah Eloheka shall send you to us. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of Yahuwah Eloheinu, to whom we send you, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of Yahuwah Eloheinu. And it came to pass after ten days that the word of Yahuwah came unto El Yeremiahu. Then called the, rather, then called he Yahuchanan, the son of Karach, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people from the least, even to the greatest, and said unto them, Thus says Yahuwah, the Elohai of Yashra'el, unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him. If ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you, and not pull you down, and I will plant you, and not pluck you up. For I repent of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babel, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, says Yahuwah, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you, and cause you to return to your own land. But if ye say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of Yahuwah Elohechem, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Mitzrayim, where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the shofar, nor have hunger of bread, and there will we dwell. And now, therefore, hear the word of Yahuwah, ye remnant of Yahuda. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashra'el, if ye wholly set your faces to enter into Mitzrayim and go to sojourn there, then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you there in the land of Mitzrayim, and the famine, where ye were afraid, shall follow close after you there in Mitzrayim, and there ye shall die. So shall it be with all the men that set at their faces to go into Mitzrayim to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. And none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. For thus says Yahuwah Sevaoth, the Elohai of Yashara'el, as my anger and my fury has been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, so shall my fury be, for, rather, be poured forth upon you, 
when ye shall enter into Mitzrayim, and ye shall be an execration, rather execration, and an astonishment, and a curse, and a reproach, and ye shall see at this place no more. Yahuwah has said concerning you, O ye remnant of Yahudah, go ye not into Mitzrayim. Know certainly that I have admonished you this day. For ye dissembled in your hearts when ye sent me unto El Yahuwah Elohechem, saying, Pray for us unto El Yahuwah Eloheinu, and according unto all that Yahuwah Eloheinu shall say, so declare unto us, and we will do it. And now I have this day declared it to you. But ye have not obeyed the voice of Yahuwah Eloheichem, nor anything for the which he has sent me unto you. Now therefore, know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, in the place whither ye desire to go and to sojourn.